Uh, for the very first time, uh, Ambassador Haley is with me now to react publicly and to get her response to something that's getting a ton of attention right now. It's a personal attack on her. Critics are pushing back hard on The View's co-host, Sonny Hostin, for accusing Ambassador Haley of trying to hide her Indian heritage. It began with the panel talking about a potential 2024 White House race. Let's watch. I'd love to see Nikki Haley. See and Nikki Haley the chameleon. I think that Nikki Haley was incredibly effective governor what is her of real South name Carolina. Again? There, there, some, there are some of by. us that can be chameleons and decide not to embrace our ethnicity so that we can pass. Sonny, so I don't that think that's don't fair. You go by a different name. Yeah. Wow, she really is that racially ignorant. And your response? You know, it's not the first time, and it won't be the last time, that the hosts of The View come after me or that liberals come after me in one, you know, in whatever way. They can't stand the fact that a minority female would be a conservative Republican. You know, when I ran for, um, when I ran and won governor, um, a, a reporter went to a high-ranking African-American Democrat female and said, how do you feel that South Carolina now has their first minority governor? And she said, Nikki Haley's not a minority. She's just a sure. conservative with a tan. So Ooh. you look at what Sonny Hostins does and, you know, the idea that, no, Sonny is not her name. Nikki is my name. It is on my birth certificate. It is an Indian name. And I embrace my Indian heritage. I have written two books that describe the struggles that my family had, what it was like growing mm -hmm. up. But the idea that they can do this, you're not going to see her fired from that show. We're not even going to see an apology from that show because they let liberals say that about conservative Republican minorities all the time. But yet nothing is done. Had this been said about a Democrat, all hell would have broken loose. Uh, you know, just in terms of that 2024, and I pointed out the politics of things that are happening on, on every scale right now, whether it's a lawsuit against a former president. We are cooking down 48 days to the midterm elections. And then begins the real talk about 2024. And what will you have to say about it? Well, I think let's see what happens in November. We have to win the House, the Senate, and these 36 governor's races. And then, you know, I've said before, if, you know, once the elections are out of the way, we'll look at the situation. If it looks like there's a place for me, I've never lost a race. <laughs> you know, I'll give it a thousand percent and we'll finish it. Um, but I think it's really important we look at, at November. And what I hope Democrats realize, you know, when they look at what happened on The View is it's Democrats that are racist. These liberal extremists are the ones that are racist. They're the ones that won't, that think minorities are incapable of going to the DMV to get an ID mm. to vote. They're the ones that are racist that say minority parents are incapable of finding the school for their children. Let's let um, independents, conservative Democrats realize that, no, it's not Republicans that are racist or sexist. It's liberal Democrats that have done this for a long time. And I hope that that really goes to the heart of what happens in the House, Senate and governor's races come November. Well, you know, I've always been grateful when people show you who they are. I, I don't want to think that someone is one thing and then you find out later, no, they really are the enemy. So there is a favor to be thanked for all of this. I know it, it, can, be, it can be harmful to your feelings, but at the same time, you know exactly where some of these people stand. No, and look, none of this bothers my feelings. I mean, I brush it off my shoulder. You know, well, you if, were at the UN dealing with everything across the table from you. So, well, yeah. you know, when they go after something like your name or your looks, they don't have anything mm. else. That shows you're winning, and I'll, I'll take that win all day long. Ambassador Nikki Haley, you were with me uh, with the president today through the breaking news, and I appreciate you being here. Thank, Thank you, you for having me. Very much. It's been a busy hour. Thank hey, everyone. I'm Emily Campagno. Catch me and my co-hosts, Harris Faulkner and Kaylee McEnany, on Outnumbered every weekday at 12 p.m. Eastern, or set your DVR. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page for daily highlights.